Uh, hi everyone, and welcome back to this series of uh, solving uh, electrical uh, circuit questions uh, for the PNG exam in uh, in Ontario and in Canada, generally speaking. Okay, so this question is a DC uh, analysis question, but we will use something we call it the superposition. And this exam or this question appears in the exam of December 2018. Question says here, find V0, the output voltage, by the superposition theory. So what is the superposition theory? The circuits that we deal with, it's, they are linear circuits. So what does it mean, a linear circuit? It means the following. If I found V out, during or because of or, or as a response for the three sources so this is my v out and then i removed two sources and i kept one source at a time so for example if i basically removed the voltage the 20 volt voltage source and the 30 voltage uh, uh, voltage source and i found v zero one due to only the current source and then v zero two due only to the 20 volt source and finally v zero three which is only due to the basically the 30 voltage source then i add the three together you will get the same as v out so sometimes uh, we use superposition to basically uh, reduce the circuit uh, analysis uh, involvement or math, but it is a proof or it is basically demonstration of the linearity of the of the circuit. So let's start the question here. So I want to find the output voltage between this node and that node as plus and minus. So I will start by removing the voltage two voltage sources from the circuit, and I will use nodal analysis. Now, how to remove a voltage source by having a short circuit? So you, are, you want to have the V equal to zero, so you make a short circuit. So basically here, my circuit uh, will be something like this. This will be three ohm, two ohm, and this will be like a short circuit. And here you will have the four ohm. And this is plus minus V zero one four ohm five ohm a short circuit and then I will have only the current source from the three sources the five amps. Now I will use basically nodal analysis. So I will this is grounded. This is V one. This is v2 so we have these two uh, nodes and we will solve for v1 and v2 as we mentioned before in nodal analysis you solve for all node voltages this reference is v equal to basically equal to zero so kcl at v1 assume the currents are basically leaving except of course the current source you cannot touch it so we have the current to the uh, uh, left v1 minus v2 over 4 plus the current that goes down v1 divided by 4 to the right v1 divided by 5 and the current is entering this is equal to basically equal to 5 i will multiply everything times 20 so we'll have 5 v1 minus v2 plus 5 v1 plus 4 v1 is equal to 100 now add terms you will have 14 v1 minus 5 v2 is equal to 100 and that is my first equation then we'll apply kcl at v2 and as is mentioned before you can assume that the currents also are leaving independent of what is my assumption of the current direction in the previous uh, question or you can assume any direction as far as you are applying kcl currents enter the node equal to the current leaves the node so we will have here uh, v2 divided by 3 plus v2 divided by 2 plus v2 minus v1 divided by 
4 and 5 is leaving plus plus 5 so multiply everything by the most common uh, least common factor between them which is basically uh, 12 so you will have 4 v2 plus 6 v2 plus 3 v2 minus v1 equal to plus sorry plus 60 equal to 0 so at terms you will have minus 3 v1 plus 13 v2 equal to minus 60 and this is your second equation now we want to multiply with the most com with the common uh, pro we want to eliminate let's say v2 so i want to multiply by basically uh, 13 and 5 in one of the equations by 13 this one by 13 the other one by basically by 5 so let me multiply equation 1 times uh, 13 so we will have basically 182 v1 minus 65 v2 and this is equal to 1300 this is i would say equation number three multiply equation number two with basically five so we'll have minus 15 v1 plus 65 v2 so now i bringing both of them to being plus and minus 65 to cancel that this is one way to solve the linear equation this is equal to minus 300 this is equation 4 so we will add 3 plus 4 we add these two equations so basically we have 167 v1 these two will cancel is equal to 1000 then your v1 will be equal to basically 5.9 volt okay now this is your v1 now you substitute in any of the equations let's substitute substitute v1 in 2 so we will have 13 v2 equal to minus 60 plus 3 times v1 which is 5.9 okay and uh, this will equal to v2 equal to around minus 3.2 volt so i found v1 i found v2 now what we want to uh, to have here we want basically to uh, calculate uh, your v out one v out one is nothing but v1 minus v2 is the voltage difference between this point and that point with this polarity because we said plus minus so it's v1 minus v2 so it is 5.9 minus minus 3.2 so this is approximately of course there is some approximation here so this is around 9.1 volt so i am done with v01 now let's go to find v02 and now i will cancel the current source and i will cancel the voltage source the current source will be an open circuit the voltage source will be a short circuit now why the current is an open circuit because i equal to zero i equal to zero is basically nothing but an open circuit so let me redraw the circuit now so we will have here plus minus 20 volt 3 ohm 2 ohm 4 ohm plus minus this is your v02 i will have here these two resistors in parallel we will have 5 ohm and 4 ohm okay now these two i can further reduce the circuit so i can have the circuit as such the 20 volt 3 volt sorry 3 uh, ohm 2 ohm and here it is your plus minus v02 and now i would add these two resistors in parallel the 4 is in parallel with the 5 which is equal to 4 times 5 divided by 4 plus 5 and uh, this uh, basically will give me 2.2 2 ohm so this is 2.2 
ohms okay and this is for ohm this is basically your reference so i want to find let me call it v2 so kcl at v2 so current leaves here so it is v2 minus 20 divided by 3 plus current goes down v2 divided by 2 current goes to the right plus now these two resistors in series but i will not add them because i want to keep this one as it is here so this is i mean i will not add them physically but i know that these two resistors in series so the current that goes this way is v2 minus 0 divided by the summation of these two resistors with v2 divided by 6.2 okay and this is equal to 0 okay now this is equal to 0.33 v2 plus 0.5 v2 plus 0.167 v2 equal to 20 over 3 which is around 6.67 now we add terms here for v2 so your v2 basically would equal to 6.67 divided by 0.33 plus 0.5 plus 0.167 and this will give me v2 is equal to 6.71 volt so i know v2 now now the current that goes here okay which is this current basically i which is this current i your i is equal to the uh, v2 divided by the total resistances which is 4 plus 2.2 and this will give me 6.71 the voltage from here to the ground divided by the total resistance which is equal to uh, 6.2 and this will give me 1.079 amp so i know the current that goes here or there now your v02 is equal to minus this current 1.079 times the resistance which is 4 and this will give me approximately minus 4.3 volt now why minus because the current direction is in opposite of the polarity that i want to calculate okay now when the current as you know if the current enter the resistance it has to be plus minus but because the polarity that i want you to calculate the voltage set as such you cannot flip it you have to keep it as it is and you will have the minus the minus 4.3 volt so now we are done with the second circuit now we will move to the last and the third uh, circuit so basically here what we will be doing again we will remove this source and we'll remove this source so we will have here three ohm and two ohm we will have here plus minus our four ohm and here v zero three and i will have here my four ohm five ohm and i will have plus minus the supply which is the 30 volt now i will reduce this is further this is two in parallel so this is three parallel with two equal to three times two over three plus two and this will give me one point two ohm so i will have here one point two ohm in series with the four ohm keep the polarity as v zero three four ohm five ohm and here is the the voltage supply the 30 volt I will call this node V3 and this is the node here V equal to zero so current to the right V3 minus 30 divided by 5 plus V3 divided by 4 the current that goes down the current goes to the right plus V3 minus zero divide by the total resistance which is four plus one point two which is five point two ohm equal to zero so we have point two v three plus point 
0.25 V3 plus 0.19 V3. And this is equal to 30 over 5, which is 6 volt. Now your V3 will equal to 6 divided by 0.2 plus 0.25 plus 0.19. And this will give 9.375 volt. This is your V3 here. Now I want to find the current that goes in this direction, I. So your I equal to V3 divided by the 4 ohm plus the 1.2. This is 9.375 divided by 5.2. And this gives me a current approximately equal to 1.8. So I know the current. Now this current going in this direction, so your V03 will equal to this current, 1.8 times the 4. And this will give me 7.2 volt. Okay. Now I found the output, the voltage V out at when we have only the current source, when we have only the 20 volt, and now when we have it, the 30 voltage source, your total V out is equal to V01 plus V02 plus V03. And this is equal to total voltage approximately is equal to 12.0 volt. So that is how much voltage is there using the superposition. I suggest to you to solve the circuit, keeping all the sources using nodal analysis and check the two, the two answer. I did that and they are basically are matching.